Okay, Re it says record. Okay, just give us your name to camera. Ben Hazelhurst. And the course you're on? Um, music and Audio Production Foundation degree. Okay, and this is your presentation for? Professional Development. Okay. Demon Promotions was a company started in June of 2009 by Adam Wheatley. Um, the company was primarily set up um, to basically promote bands around the Merseyside area, um, giving them a chance to uh, play gigs uh, in venues around Liverpool, um, mostly bands that aren't signed, um, that are looking for gigs maybe that haven't ever gigged before. The, um, the company is based in Walton of Liverpool um, and is mainly built up uh, online as an online presence through MySpace, Twitter and Facebook. Um, first starting out with a MySpace account um, to, to contact bands because MySpace is known for mainly where bands can be contacted where they upload music because places like Facebook and Twitter don't have that facility as of yet. Well, Facebook does but at the time the company started it didn't. Um, um, soon after um, the online presence was set up a website was um, started um, this was for bands to, um, for updates for bands, for bands to get in contact um, so that people could log onto the website and see exactly what was happening, which had links to the Facebook, the MySpace, the Twitter. Um, so that uh, it, was, it was just like a central location for everyone um, to go to because it was, it, it was still just an online business at this point. Um, the way all this started out, obviously it didn't just happen overnight, um, people didn't just find out about Demon Promotions by logging on online. So um, it first started with these flyers you can see, um, they were actually taken to Hub Festival and given out, uh, I think it was 500 flyers were handed out um, and this, obviously Hub Festival's uh, a music-esque festival um, so there were lots of bands milling around so um, this gave us an opportunity to get our name out there to the people that, that need it um, which proved to be quite successful because as you can see uh, all the contact details were on the on the flyers and soon after we had bands um, calling up, getting on the website um, and contacting us looking for gigs. Um, the f um, uh, soon after when we had enough bands that we thought we could book a gig um, and have a few fallback bands just in case um, we, we started booking gigs from August of 2009. Um, after this, uh, after the first gig turned out to be quite a big success um, and a lot of people were turning up, more bands were hearing about the Demon name and what, what Demon was doing. Um, we built up a relationship with The Mask up on Seal Street. Um, this, this enabled us to start doing gigs once a month, maybe sometimes two. Um, but the, the, the relationship over the past two years that has been built up with a mask has proved to be a pretty strong relationship, um, which has given us benefits that maybe other promotions companies don't have or bands looking for, looking for gigs um, that approached the mask um, 
because Damon has such a good relationship with the mask, um, we have perks um, that the mask gives to us that we can then give to the bands. My role within the company um, started out basically just uh, working at the actual gigs, um, uh, loading and out of the venue, organising all aspects of how the gig was run, um, occasionally doing a bit of live sound, working the desk. Um, as, as the company has progressed and got bigger, my role within the company has got bigger. Um, and I've moved on from just working the actual gigs to uh, contacting bands, checking up on the MySpace to Facebook. Uh, I've got my own email address set up, set up now um, so that I can speak with bands, speak with the venue, um, organising uh, ticket distribution. Uh, we, we get our own tickets printed. Uh, send them off to the bands. Um, they're just two examples of um, the, uh, posters that have been designed for the company. Problems that I've experienced from working with Demon. Uh, the main one. Uh, um, in terms of the actual gig is a uh, timekeeping because um, even though we do run to a very tight schedule it's always hard to keep everything in line especially when you're working with each each gig has six or seven bands on and it's really hard to keep you know seven bands in line for sound checks and the actual the actual gig um, so things have developed since I started working with Demon um, from uh, changing sound check times, sound checking. It, we used to sound check every band and be completely rushed off our feet until the doors opened. Um, so now we've cut it down to sound checking the first and last band, and then if we have time, sound checking the one in the middle. Uh, we're doing line checks before each band goes on stage, um, which. That, that that's one thing that we have developed um, because where, when it first started it, it you know it was really hectic um, um, another another problem uh, is being getting people through the door selling tickets because because of the way it started uh, we, there was a gig so soon after the company actually began. Um, so not many people knew it was all about the band selling the tickets whereas now um, we have got you know quite a big presence and quite a, quite a following of people who turn up to each gig so ticket sales have become easier um, um, we have e the, the, the live sound technicians that come to each gig uh, are on a freelance basis through the mask so another problem we've always had is every time we, we book a gig we don't know who we're getting to do live sound um, and each each time they come it's a different person so we have to we have to learn how they do things learn how they they like to work instead of just turning up knowing exactly how the gig's going to run and doing it we have to adapt to the way each um, each live sound technician uh, works in that venue. Future of Demon. Um, at the moment, there's just gigs running in Liverpool for um, unsigned bands. We have had a few signed bands playing, um, but not as many as as we'd like. Um, there's been recently there's been a lot of uh, bands contacting us from around the UK asking for dates asking us to book dates for their tours which 
we're not in a position to do at the moment because um, because we can't like we're we're not available to, we're not able to sell tickets um, for bands that nobody's ever heard of from different places around the UK. So one aim is to start booking bands that are on tours um, and possibly moving demon around the country. Um, there have been talks of moving to Manchester, start doing gigs over there and there is a project coming up this summer. Um, that's it, are there any questions? Um, one of the things that you're meant to explore prior to um, professional development and work experience is what skills you wish or intend to develop as part of that experience. You've not addressed any of that in this presentation, how this employment, what kind of skills have you acquired or did you want to acquire? Well, I've always been interested in live sound and before doing this, I've never really had an opportunity to do so. Um, so I have had an opportunity to um, to work with live sound in a real working environment. Um, and from that, I've brought it into this college from doing shows in the college um, because before then I had no experience with working with live sound. Um, another thing is events management is something that I've been interested in since before I worked with Demon. But uh, again, I've never had any experience, so it's brought me skills from events management um, from that perspective. Can you be more specific? What skills might that be? Um, well, uh, people skills from contacting bands, um, promotional skills as in... Um, promoting gigs online through people and know through the mask um, I suppose that's all I can think of I mean do you think that your problem solving skills have improved through being in shows and, and having problems to solve yes definitely um, there have been quite a few mishaps there's been bands dropping out of of gigs last minute which has been very stressful but at the same time it it builds up um it's built up my my knowledge of how to deal with situations like that um through you know quickly uh, coming up with a solution to a problem that's quite major when booking a gig if a band drops out you have to you have to quickly find another band, um, distribute tickets to them for them to sell. Um, if that if if it gets so bad, because we've got a good relationship with the mask, we can speak to the mask and see if they have any bands that would be available. Um, again, um, sound technicians not turning up until an hour before the gig starts. So. Uh, using my initiative to um, get the bands sound checking. Um, the only problem being because the mask uh, has its own sound system, they don't like other people powering the sound system up, so we had to find someone from the mask to come and power up the sound system so that we could do sound checks within the last hour because the sound technician hadn't turned up. Mm. And how was that left with that, the mask and the sound technician in question between Damon Promotions and that person who wasn't very professional? Um, they haven't worked another gig with us since then. We've had a couple of, um, a few technicians working gigs every few months, but this technician hasn't worked with us again, I'm not sure if he's still working with the mask. Okay, possibly not. I would assume so. 
based on that kind of performance. Okay, any other questions? All right then. Um, if there are no further questions, then I shall press stop.